A rise in overdoses in the tri-state raising new concerns among addiction specialists in the tri-state. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares what's recommended to turn this trend around. It is something we've been hearing about now for a while. Isolation does not lend itself to addiction support. Already we are seeing a spike in overdose deaths as a pandemic and an epidemic collide. Well, we've seen high overdoses and also high deaths, which is obviously terrible. We don't want to see either one of those things. Tom Sinan has been heading up the fight against addiction for years. He says some of what's driving up overdoses right now, a recent rise in the availability of fentanyl, which appeared to slow in the beginning of the pandemic. The problem is, is that with fentanyl supply, now there's some little bit of disputing. Some believe that dealers were holding on to fentanyl and it, it really, the supply was not really disrupted. They were just kind of using COVID as a kind of front to, uh, to ask for more money. Um, but some people, and, and I'm one of them, believe that there was a disruption. You got to think about these drugs are synthetic. They're made outside the United States. China's been a major manufacturer of synthetic precursors for fentanyl and methamphetamine. Shipping them not just directly to the United States, but also Mexico and the cartels. When the world shut down, the United States shut down, I believe the fentanyl supply shut down. In addition to that, he says fewer support groups could meet in person and... But the other problem with COVID is that isolation may mean that you're by yourself and don't have somebody there to revive you. That combination, according to Sinan and Tammy Griffin of DeCoach Rehabilitation Center, is a formula for pandemic addiction disaster. Turning this trend around, even if you can get someone into treatment, likely going to take a long time. Sometimes they come in and think it's snap and you'll be well. That doesn't happen. It's just like if you have a heart attack, you still have to go through seeing the cardiologist, et cetera, et cetera. So what we do is we get you in treatment and then we'll start working on the process. Yes, we can get your body feeling better, but there is a process. And to be honest, addiction and any type of medical issue, that mental piece is good, but you still have to continue to work on it. Now, since no one formula works for everyone, it's also recommended the rest of us be on the lookout for signs of trouble in someone we love if they struggle with addiction. Keep in mind, these can be everything from mood changes to simply a way that they change doing work at home or at the office. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you. Thank you, Liz. Lo uh, make sure.